not only in Montana, but in the United States, really treat childcare as a personal, private issue. And it's not, it's a social issue, it's a community issue. Quality childcare in Missoula is difficult to find. Parents are struggling and the caregivers are struggling. United Way Zero to Five is looking to change that. Their new program, the Missoula Child Care Advantage, paid for by a grant from the United States Department of Public Health and Human Services, will renovate Cold Springs Elementary School to house six new child care programs. The future home of Missoula Child Care Advantage. The student facility will be here near the corner, and then there'll be just a really small, like, apartment size kitchenette. So you can, like, heat up mac and cheese. They are now accepting applications for providers who wish to occupy the space. Looking strongly at how can we support those providers who want to provide great care to do the best work they can and stay in this field that they love. Beyond a new location, the program, which will kick off next spring, will provide a network of shared services like payroll and tax help for the caregivers. Because of the shared services, the hope is that that time and money can be reinvested into their staff. The average wage of a worker in a child care facility is $13 an hour. You can make a better wage at a fast food restaurant. The network will also help with waitlist management, making sure that vacancies are filled as soon as possible. Even with that influx of need, there still might be vacancies for programs. And when you have a vacancy, you're losing out on quite a bit of money. The program has membership opportunities for local businesses who can give their employees priority on the waitlist for care, paying for the program beyond the grant money. We're able to get into this building because of the grant, but the model itself is self-sustaining. According to the state of Montana's child care gap assessment, Missoula County has the second highest child care gap in the state behind Yellowstone County. In 2022, 5,398 children were in need of care, but only 3,087 of those kids were able to find available slots, leaving a gap of 42.8% of families who could not find child care. Of course, availability of child care isn't the only issue at play here. The cost of child care is often too much for families at about $1,000 per child per month. But new eligibility for a Montana child care scholarship could ease some of that burden. Parents are paying 20% of their income, many parents, on child care. Like if you have two kids in child care, you need a really good job to pay. The best beginning scholarship eligibility cap increased from $2,700 per month to $3,400 on July 1st. Now more families can qualify. It also lowers co-payments from 15% of monthly income to 9%. And so we are grateful to make it easier for working parents. Parents can find out more about the scholarship at Child Care Resources in Missoula, and providers can find access to the Missoula Child Care Advantage application on our website. In Missoula, Claire Peterson, MTN News.